Better experience with the controller, eh? Welcome to Broken Pieces. We last played the demo a few months ago. The game is finally out now. We're going to give it a shot. Now we can continue. <clears throat> I think it will let us continue from where the, we left off in the demo. I don't know. But if that is the case, that will save us some time. All right, let's see if it continues from where we last left off. Did we left off at the lighthouse? Yes, we're here. Don't remember. <coughs> what we were doing. I think there was a puzzle. Let's double check. So E is the... Okay. The valve is missing here. Valve is missing. All right, so it did keep our progress from the demo. That's kind of bad because I have no idea what we were doing towards the end. This panel seems to monitor the pressure within the turbines. Only the first one appears to be working correctly. Hmm. Only the first turbine is working correctly. Turbine two is down. I wonder if this local police apparently suspect the cult has started kidnapping people. It is indeed curious. So many people would disappear without leaving a note. Their last ritual site is located near the lighthouse at the point de mal might be worth checking out. Okay. I guess I didn't get this. Well, La Ponte de Mal. Fix the gates, cable box, find the electrical component, investigate the place. Gamepad guide, clues. Lighthouse inauguration, 1835. And we gotta get back home before 8. Oh, yes, here it is. So. Damn it. Of course, it wasn't freaking. Oh, oh man. That really sucks. To get better at dodging these attacks. I wasn't prepared. I mean, I knew it was going to happen, but. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. Someone left a note for his co workers. Frank is so fed up that we keep forgetting his birthday that he has set the day in the month as the padlock code. Can someone change that back to the inauguration date? The inauguration date is 1865. So what is your code, Frank? So we know what that is. Frank's birthday, 1835. Frank. Watchtower schedule and system monitoring. The entire workforce is listed on the board. Something is written here too. Could anyone pick up Frank's shifts for the upcoming weeks? We can't look at the board, it looks like. Can only click it that one time. Nicholas system? That's probably where the town's additional current is monitored. 
Hmm. I can probably restart the system from here. Once the pressure is fixed. Okay, your doors are locked. Yes. It's a bit much for just a common lighthouse. Okay. So we unlocked something. Doing all this again. I guess this part didn't save. So they had to make space for these machines? They do not seem to belong in a lighthouse. Good thing nobody can find them here. It's completely dark in here. Not too dark. I can see, but it's nothing clickable. There's a way to change the uh, camera angle. Okay, there we go. Middle mouse. There's a mess in there. I guess I turned on the uh, the the valves valve back here. I think that's what we turned on. Select the pressure. Fifty. The valve is missing here. But it's completely stuck. But it's completely stuck. We know where that valve is. So I guess we need that to be 75, 25, and 1. Okay, now it's at 25. I think the other one needs to be. Still 10 in the morning. Loading in all these graphics. I think we missed. to create ammunition. Found a can. We missed this. So where would Frank's code be at? 
This tree couldn't resist the force of the last storm. Happy to see some boats were spared by these mad cultists. This door requires electricity. Left, Pointe du Mal. Right, St. Exel's Village. Straight ahead, Lichran. Okay, a whole lot of nothing's gone on so far. I'm gonna go back a little bit more. Okay. Go back. Oh, this is unexplored, kinda. Well, not really, but. Kinda piece together. This road seems to lead to the White Manor. This door can be unlocked from the other side. Future. Okay, yeah, I think we came from that way. Don't think we've gone down here. See about it. This is all new. I think I'm going to need a lever. Oh, dang, so it's dead in. Okay. Let's keep going back. Let's see. Backtrack a little bit. See if we might have missed some stuff. All right, no, we're not gonna go back. Not that far. That's too, too. Much. All right, this backtrack session has not been fruitful. But that's a good way to save the game, it looks like. Preston. Needed that. Not gonna rest yet. Guess we can put this on. Alright, so now I need to fix these colored cables in the right order. So we to see how they are coiled. That's where I'm stuck at. Figuring out the code. Cult tape. I don't have a tape, do I?
One, two. One, two. That works? Okay. Damn machine. And I'm finally starting to understand what's going on here with the electricity. A priori, everything revolves around the lighthouse. I consulted many old newspapers, and the Village Gazette told me that St. Exa was very poorly served by electricity and regularly suffered severe power cuts. I knew that it was a very isolated village, which is what makes it so charming, but I hadn't thought of that. Half of the articles in the Gazette are devoted to the inhabitants who, tired of the cuts, ended up installing small wind turbines for their homes. The other half is about the lighthouse, and that's where it gets interesting. I read that the mayor of the village had installed underwater turbines connected to the building, which are capable of producing electricity thanks to the movement of the sea. This has enabled the village to gain autonomy and to overcome the failures of the general electrical network. Anyway, I, I think it would be worth going to take a look at the lighthouse, because if the turbine system is damaged, it could explain why some electrical equipment is out of order while others are still working. I'll tell you what I found. This buoy clearly defines what St. Exel is. A small, isolated fishing village where time seems slowed down or even frozen. A usually calm place where the haunting sound of the waves punctuates your day. Magic stone. I would like to tell you about the bracelet you gave me right after we arrived here. You found that gem on the beach and crafted it into this beautiful piece of jewelry. You told me that you felt that this pebble had something special, that it radiated. Well, you were right, you know. He protects me from the monsters I told you about. If I smack it against the ground, it produces a shock wave that violently repels ghosts. Sometimes he can even dissolve them when they attack me. He is so strong that I decided to name him Rocky, since it's a rock. <clears throat> but Rocky is also a sensitive guy, you know? He doesn't like explosive noises. If I shoot a gun in his ear, he can even start a thunderstorm. At that moment, I, I feel transported to another reality, to another time. Once calm returns, I have the impression that it only lasted a few seconds, whereas about 15 minutes had actually passed. Better to use it sparingly. Sometimes I feel like he's almost alive. He gets lazy at the end of the day, especially if I made him work a lot. But, hey, Ooh. nothing a good night's sleep can't fix. Anyway, all that to say that he reminds me a bit of you. It's probably silly, but I... I feel like you're watching over me through him. And that helps me hold on. Just as soon as I freaking stopped recording, I freaking find out it was exactly what I was thinking. Looking up. Look at the top of this box. And the cores are in the order that you need them in. To solve this gate puzzle. But I took the uh, the fuse out of it, thinking that the code or whatever might have been on that. But that is not the case. So what we really need to do is put it in that order there, because we can't get the boat code or the code for the the locker, because we need to get through this gate first to find it. So that's it. So we were on the right track, kinda. So the order is black, white, yellow, blue. It seems to be. So let's disconnect all of these. So black, white, yellow. Oops. Disconnect. And blue should be last Shh. Shh. 
Okay, there we go. Gate should be open now. Yes. All right. It opens. Great. Progress. Took us forever to get it. Even though the answer is right in our face. He stopped doubting myself and actually do it. Let's sit down and save. All right. We're kind of injured, so we might get attacked up ahead eventually. But at least we know what to do now if we do die. So we got a tree. Maybe use it as a bridge. Uh, let's do it. Alternate weather, start a storm. If we start a storm, we can probably knock that tree over. All right, let's go ahead and do that then. Start your storm. There we go. So it knocked the tree over and broke the gate. There we go. Now here are all the boats that we needed. And the storm's done. Alright, now we get somewhere. From the depth of the sea, his anger spreads through our families. This sounds terrifying. I'm wondering what's that thing they mention all the time. This game gives you a chance to practice your French. I still remember a few of the words. And phrases. Despite the mess the protesters left behind, you're still offering comfort, aren't you? Shrine here. They love leaving these tape boxes for their propaganda. Listen to us. Join the devoted. Maybe I should listen to it. <laughs> listen to us. All right, let's listen to one of their propaganda tapes. The devoted. Dear people of Saint-Exil, this message is for you. I know our oh. local authorities have been breaking the back, picturing us as fools. Do not There's Frank State. This is the boat we need. Our actions are dedicated to so all it is of you. The Once 19th the of March, 67. Denied, we'll finally see the truth with so, their eyes. So, 19. All be remembered. You are all so it's 193. Join us in the rising of birthdays from the departed boat. Let's put the I world to rights. It's the only way now. All right, we listened to them. I didn't hear Jack. Whole lot of nothing. Celine, the 30th of December, 1966. 27 is a really young age to go. Yes, it is. How about Franks? Frank, the 19th of March, 1967. There's a clue. So, Frank's birthday, 19th of March. So, it's going to be 0319. That's going to be the code. We got it. Just save on and let's get up. Not gonna advance time because we don't want it to get dark too quick. This is one of the places of contemplation in St. Exel. It was vandalized just before everything went down. Okay. 
do see a lot of graffiti. There's some. It occurred at the site of remembrance. But the main thing. Uh oh. Fight time. Oh shit, too. Dang it, I wasn't expecting those in this. I really need to get better at dodging these attacks. I really do need to get better at dodging them. So, ah, they attack so fast, you don't get the chance to. Should work better with that on. Documents on this desk look much more confidential than the previous ones. This place appears to be a government cell dedicated to recording underwater sound activity off the village. And this has been going on for a while. But I don't see what they're trying to find. They appear to be studying something at the bottom of the sea that is moving at precise coordinates. On April 17th, 1991, they recorded a signal which they define as organic. The signal was recorded on a cassette to be sent urgently to the DGSE because this would jeopardize the military security of the country. But one of the lighthouse maintenance staff apparently stole the tape? They quickly managed to identify him and where he lives. This is my house!
Oh yeah, let me catch my breath. At the edge of this cliff stands the famous flower house of St. Exel. It was given by its owner to the village, which still contributes to maintaining the quality of its gardens. Still inhabited, the building is regularly open for heritage events. I love the atmosphere of the streets of the village with this staging. Too bad this is now linked to where my nightmare started. The access is condemned at the top. Now that the town's current is better, I can access the house's attic again. Our protagonist abode. 